This memory game is designed to run on different devices with different resolutions and different characteristics. So for this reason, it needs to be resized properly. And the content area here must be resized on larger screen, but the frames that hold the logo, title, and the UI should keep in a fixed size. This capability requires the use of CSS grid layout. So in this demo, we're going to continue from the previous demo. We're going to show you how we could create a flexible grid layout. So CSS grid is actually defined in CSS. So it's not like what we use to work with the HTML table with all the HTML attributes. The rows and the columns for grid layout are defined in CSS, not in HTML, which is keeping your semantic markup free from the markup devoted to layout. In addition, CSS grid layout offers precise control over grid behavior during resize events. Now, let's take a look how we could make a flexible grid layout in this demo. Very first thing we would do is we will still work with this game body. And then we're going to actually go to the CSS property. Under the layout, we're going to choose the display as MS grid, meaning it is a CSS grid layout. Now, once you've done that, by default, it would defining as one column and one row. So immediately you see a bunch of things squeezed onto the top of that. But never mind, we're going to make it look much better later on. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create five columns as well as five rows. How we do that? What we do is very simple. We could uh, leverage the all the column add-on in the brick like this. By doing this, we create one column. Okay, so all together we've created five columns. Now we need a few rows. Same thing, we used uh, what we called the row add-on. Okay, now we've created five columns and five rows for this CSS grid layout. Next, what we want to do is we want to make sure some of the grid column and the row with a fixed pixel size, some of them with what we call fractional. So the difference with fixed and fractional is fixed is obviously is based on whatever the pixel you define. That's a fixed size. Fractional is basically relative to the change of the grid size. So it is a very uh, a useful feature to use if you want to make sure, for example, in this case, content area to be relatively to the size of the particular device or the resolution of a particular device. Okay, so let's fix a few things here. So this is uh, labeled as fractional. So we want to actually change it into the pixels. Second one, we change a few of the fractional uh, size to be fixed. That's for the column. And we want to leave uh, this particular area as the content as fractional. Okay, so same thing applied to the rows. And I think we want to leave this one as fractional as well. Now we've changed all the uh, right dimension for the uh, grid cell. Next, uh, what we're going to do is we want to actually defining the fixed and fractional much better with particular parameters. Obviously, we have tried a few times to make sure the layout looks good. And then these are the numbers we want to use for the MS grid columns as well as MS grid rows. Now, pay attention. Um, it is actually the grid columns 
and rows we're working with. So don't be confused with MS grid column or MS grid row. One is singular and these are plural. Okay, so let's actually put some magic number there. So I want my first one to be 40 pixel. Second column to be 185. Third one to be 20. And leave one fractional the way it is. And the last one to be 40 again. Let's continue work on the rows as well. So the first would be 100. Third would be 20. And then leave the fourth one as one fractional and the last one to be 40 again. So now we've made quite a bit of change in terms of the uh, the grid size of the columns and the rows. And then let's save the project. And then we're going to actually continue on this project in the next demo. So in the next demo, we're going to actually show you how we could actually align the content into this grid layout.